Hi Virgo, welcome to SubQuest Synergy. My name is Spence. I welcome you in. We are still in the midst, in the middle of January, dealing with this eclipse energy. It did happen a week ago, the eclipse, but the effect is about six months. So this energy is an activation point that's going to be activated along the way in different times of 2020. Um, right now, a week later after the eclipse, um, we have Sun Square to like a bunch of planets in Capricorn with a Saturn-Pluto conjunction and Jupiter expanding us to see how to actually implement changes across the planet in our structural life, in, this, in the structures of our lives, our jobs, homes, businesses, marriages, schools, um, corporations, governments, right? In the things in our lives that are structured. Now the reason I'm not shuffling is because I started your video a few minutes ago and then there were people in the hall that were started, that either they were moving in or moving out and made a lot of noise and I couldn't even hear myself think so I stopped the video but I kept your reading so that I could keep it pure and give you the reading that was laid out for you. Of course I always uh, focus um, with all my good intentions to give you everything that I can give you for the highest possible good going forward in your journey. Soph means wisdom, questing after in a kind of synergistic way talking to you soul to soul and hopefully helping you to move through your journey to uh, whatever it is that your soul has been awakened to quest after. What is your soul purpose, right? The kind of work you want to do, the kind of relationship you want to have, whether you're in the midst of doing any kind of inner child healing, healing mind, body, spirit, or all of the above. Um, I have been on the spirit of uh, a spiritual, physical, healing journey now for many many years as I battle with lupus so that is something that I do and so I wanted to bring um, maybe just some loving kindness to the world doing these kinds of readings for people hopefully just to encourage you to walk that path of your own healing toward your Dharma alright so I laid the tree of life spread for you I can tell you that I know that today the moon moved from Libra into Scorpio. So this harkens back. It's another sort of activation point about what was happening in November through Mercury retrograde. So all through November, um, we were really sitting and thinking about our feelings, about what it is that we were really feeling about our lives. The things that we wanted to look at that we knew for a fact were making us have really deep feelings about things in our lives that we were really coming to the conclusion of needing to change. We just knew. We knew that we knew that things were going to be needing to change. And so the last three months has been about accepting that. It's been about moving it forward. It's been about getting together with friends, family, and accepting where we where we are in our relationships in our work life and then now moving forward actually implementing changes starting it off with a bang a new decade a new year and in the midst of all of this the eclipse helping us to do so all right so virgo for the first cards that i pulled for you earlier here it was the queen of the moon oracle cards by stacy demarco and they're very moon oriented and the moon changed and shift today again and I was drawn to them today so I pulled three of those for you and I'll show you those in a moment and then I also pulled you a power of surrender card power of surrender cards and then I am also today using the quantum tarot the quantum tarot here those are the cards I'm using for you today the quantum tarot very space age and very cool I love it and all, each card represents like a scientific principle, which I dig so much because I'm all about it. I love, 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 love astronomy, science, science of every caliber, pretty much. Physics, specifically, and astronomy. 
All right, so Virgo, how are you? Let's see here. The first card that I'm gonna talk about for you is going to be your surrender card because I think it's sort of an important sort of introduction to, the, to this concept today. Surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. Surrender to what is. So I think it's going to be really, really important right now for you, Virgo. Not to either consciously sit in the seat of denial by saying, you know, by doing the Scarlet O'Hara, well, I'll think about that tomorrow. And then, you know, compartmentalizing it and putting it in the back of your mind and not dealing with it. Or just absolutely distracting yourself to the point where you can't even let it come to your conscious mind at all, right? What's really going on under the surface of things, how you're really feeling about things, that kind of thing. Because I think the bigger, the bigger theme here for you is about dealing with your light and your shadow, okay? Assessing, darkness, perhaps the shadow, the dark night of the soul, the fears inside, and beauty. So you can see this figure wants to come out of this darkness, this dark night of the soul, or this dark time, or being in the dark, and is very focused on looking at the moon. It's not covered up anymore, so you're looking at your feelings finally, I think. Really looking at them. And seeing the beauty of it all. Seeing, seeing and understanding that you're a part of nature, and nature is a part of you. That we are all connected. You can see the space is made up of all natural things, like flowers and leaves and butterflies, I think. Yeah, love that card. So you're looking for the beauty in life again. You're looking to lighten up a little bit, right? To lighten up emotionally. I think you really want to lighten up. And I think that that is, is happening. You're rising above things at this point. And lightening up and coming out of this lonely period, you know, where maybe you just worked and we had a very abundant life, right? But but you felt very alone, I think. Okay, so the dharmic and karmic lesson of the month. What you're shedding, no fun, being alone, and what you're going towards, the Three of Cups. You want to enjoy life again, right? You're looking for a little more beauty in your life, a little more fun, a little more adventure. Because underlying everything, in the, in the month, looking at things that have been dark, wanting to brighten up your days by seeking out more beauty, more fun, um, time with friends, lightening up, right, not taking things too seriously. Underneath everything, this is about a relationship with the Two of Cups. It may or may not be a romantic relationship. It is for some of you. For others of you, I think it's a friendship or a relationship with a parent, a father perhaps. We do have the emperor on the table. Um, okay, so here's what I'm seeing. Here's what I'm seeing. So that's, we're looking at the three of cups and two of cups, right? So we're wanting to enjoy the relationship and be able to talk to each other. Oh, that's interesting. I, I'm sorry, I just saw something that I hadn't seen before. Okay. You've been thinking a lot about this, but I don't think that you've been talking about it. Here's what I'm seeing, okay. So you want, you're wanting to have some fun, but here's what you're doing. You're working hard every single day. 
Carrying on smartly, steady Freddy, steady as she goes, day by day, step by step. Being responsible and working hard. So you're getting it done. Maybe you haven't been seeing a lot of money coming in, but you're coming up with new ideas as to how to earn more money. I don't see a lot about money on this table. And both of the cards that I see, I don't think are actually about your finances. So I'm not seeing the status of your finances, but I can say that you're working hard and that if you are saving for something, that's a good thing. If you've been feeling really broke, keep going, keep going, keep going, because this is the issue of this particular shift right now during eclipse season for you, Virgo. The form that it takes, the way it plays itself out is the Seven of Swords. You are gonna do things a whole new way. This is the way it's always been done, day after day after day after day. And this could be anything, your daily schedule, your daily habits, your job, the way you do your, your relationship. This is kind of being on autopilot in some ways, okay? And this is wanting to change it up. You're gonna do things differently. It's time to come up with a very creative solution because otherwise you're gonna go crazy doing it the same, same old, same old way and getting the same results. This is how you're feeling. You're exhausted. You've tried and tried and tried. Whatever it is, you, you tried to do life in this kind of way, but it, you, it's not working for you. There is something in your life that you de definitely want to change, and you are really trying to figure out how to change it and you're worried about it, you're probably not sleeping well or resting well, and you might have even been a bit under the weather lately. Because I do see the temperance card above that, which is a healing card. It's also a card of bringing two things or two people together to create balance and peace between them. So it's the space for healing. So you're either worried about your job or your work or a relationship, but the best way for you to handle it right now is to come up with this new strategy. Don't overthink it anymore. You, I think you're done thinking. I think you've already probably come up with the new strategy. That You're like, we're going to do this differently. The challenge, so you saw that the temperance card, right, was what's helping you combining this together, working with someone else, trying to come up with a solution, which is I'm seeing a relationship between these two, you know, right in the center of your tree of life. I'm seeing this relationship where you could work it out with someone else. Um, and the temperance card is what's helping you. So to bring healing, balance, and peace, peaceability, okay, among the people, <laughs> whoever, whoever we're talking about. The challenge is the Emperor card. Okay, that's a challenge. So, the challenge, you know, the Emperor builds an empire. So, this is about doing it doggedly. This is about being in control, having the rules. And with the Seven of Swords right about it, this might be about breaking some rules and doing it differently. could be a person and that you need to talk to this person about how to make this change going forward, how to bring peaceability back into the environment. I am not seeing exactly what your environment is. That is a little esoteric, but all, <laughs> all of January's readings have been that way. They've been very psychological or philosophical or esoteric in one way or another. I'm not seeing a lot of ins and out details of people's lives. What I'm seeing is that people are 
striving for change. What, so what you're feeling is this Nine of Swords, right? Worry, anxiety, sleeplessness, exhaustion, and possibly feeling under the weather, under the weather, perhaps even a little depressed. So you're bringing healing to that. You are going to be feeling better because you're thinking about it and it's already in motion. The Eight of Wands, this is what you're thinking about. You're thinking about the change. You know it's coming. You can feel it coming because you're, you're bossing it up. You're going to take some control to try to do something a different way. It is the challenge. The emperor is the challenge. So either you have to go to your boss or your husband or father and work out the details of how you want to implement changes. But communication is going to be happening. You are thinking of, about it, and it's already beginning to be stirred up. In other words, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. Okay. Just don't let it be verbal explosion, right? We don't want to argue. You want peaceability. So this is what's working for you. Okay. So stay calm and, and serene about it and realize that you can't solve anything without communication. So it is time to talk. Um, here's what's interesting. The best course of action right now is the five of pentacles. And you know, I always have to think about that. The best course of action. Five of pentacles, five of pentacles. So, Going out on your out on a limb, out on your own, with this idea, with this different strategy. The kind of in this deck, it's like a new idea. New ideas that are born out of nothing. They just come about. So it's like, you know. Doing, thinking of an out-of-the-box solution and not the tried and true emperor kind of way. Talking to someone. Okay, in this card, the Five of Pentacles, you're not talking. You're, you would disagree with someone. You're out in the cold from them or you're... You, you know, you don't feel like you're part of the, of the group or the gang. When, you know, when you're in the Five of Pentacles, you feel like you're out on a limb, all alone. But that's the best course of action. And in this, two people are not talking. But what's underlying this is the Two of Cups, where two people are talking. So the best course of action is to go from that to this. Talk. Come in from out of the cold or bring someone else in from out of the cold. What you know about yourself is this lover's card. Love that lover's card. You love the, the person that you need to talk to to plan about how to do this new idea, this new thing, or just to do life differently with more fun, more joviality, more adventure, more beauty, right? Where you don't feel like you're in the doldrums so much and so exhausted all the time and just working, working. Same old pedantic thing. This is making a different choice and if you're married, this is about talking to your spouse and saying, hey, let's, uh, what you know about yourself is you love this person, whoever it is that you want to talk to, right? So let's talk to them. Hey, let's talk. Let's, let's start to consider what you need to know about yourself, the Page of Cups. That just talking to each other, loving kindness, peaceability, that's going to bring you back to this way of seeing 
each other again and talking together again and then you can commune with your energy like the three of cups enjoying each other's company and coming up with a creative solution a, a creative solution because you are trying to figure out what it is that you want to do here with with your day-to-day -day life knight of pentacles what you do every day right I just pulled a card off the top of the deck just to see what the next card would be. Empress. So to build on your, your life, to grow. To grow. The next card under that, I pulled two cards I was just going to lay it aside, but um, is your card, the Hermit card. To grow yourself. You want to grow, Virgo. And you need to talk to the person in your life that you love or anyone else and and let them know that that you you're willing to change up your day your schedule the way you do things to have a little more fun to see a little bit more beauty in the world and you know to live in a kind of this temperance where everything in balance you know all work and no play make Virgo a dull boy or <laughs> girl Right, so I think that's your message. I really do. Surrender to what is right now. What you cannot change, you cannot change. But surrendering to what is also means accepting the past for what it was, the now for what it is, and then accepting the possibility of what could be, right? So. Yeah, take a look. You know, I think your moon, your heart's been covered for a while. And take that moon and look at it. Right now, moon just moved into Scorpio. So if you were really thinking about this, about November-ish, right around, you know, right before, in and amongst the holidays season, um, this is a time of activation for you to really look at your feelings again and say to yourself, what do I want to make myself feel just more one with the beauty of the world? You know, just happier. Happier. So I wish you kindness, reverence, and gratitude. I want to thank you very much for viewing. I want to thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing if you choose to do so. Please do click on the bell icon that is next to the subscribe button if you choose to do so, uh, so that you can get the notifications if you click the bell. All right, I do appreciate it. I'm Spence, and I will see you again in February. Take care. Bye.